as you can see, we need to wash our hair. <laughs> One, yes, I am wearing the same outfit as last week's video. Unironically, it just happened. I'm gonna be honest, I literally just put this two-piece set on like as pajama. I didn't go out anywhere, I didn't have plans to go out. I just wanted to be comfortable, so I put on this two-piece set as pajamas. <laughs> This week is going to be a random ass video. I have things to do uh, maintenance wise. Like I need to wash my hair. I want to do my nails. I want to do my eyelashes. But that's it because I have nothing to do this weekend. So y'all just going to spend the day with me. I don't want to lose my weekly streak. So even if it's y'all spending the day with me and I'm not doing shit but being in the house all day, we'll do that, okay? Y'all just going to see what a normal day by day looks like for me. When I'm not working. But yeah, no, that's literally what it is. Y'all gonna spend the day with me doing my maintenance before we get our day started. Don't come for me. I like to eat before I brush my teeth. That's just how I am. That's how I've always done it. I don't give a fuck. Like, if I brush my teeth, I'm not eating till lunchtime. At least an hour or two after I brush my teeth because I can't brush my teeth and then eat food. Like, that taste of toothpaste mixed with food, the flavor. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. I don't like to deal with it. Let's use the bathroom and then eat breakfast. And then we can get started with everything. Oh, yeah, I have to do my eyebrows too. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is the afternoon. I didn't do shit but fucking eat. So I'm gonna be honest, okay? After I finished recording this morning, I found out some news that like altered my brain chemistry for, for sure, for sure. But we're not gonna get into it. Just know the impossible is literally possible. And don't think that it would never happen to you because it can and it will. And I don't know why I excluded myself out of the situation. <laughs> I tend to surprise myself new ways all the fucking time. And this morning was one of them. But we're not going to talk about it. I'm just not. We're just going to continue with this video. I'm going to get through what we need to do today. And first and foremost, I'm going to do my eyelashes. This is the eyelash glue that I bought off of Shein. Yes. Originally, I wasn't. I was going to go to my trusty, dusty, on and seal, waterproof little pink wand from Amazon. I was scrolling through Shein to find clusters, right? And this came across and I was looking at the reviews and they were all saying how good it was, how extremely waterproof it was. Like some girl was talking about how she cried and it still stayed and I was like, this is perfect. Cause over here, I cry like no tomorrow. So this is just perfect for me. We're about to try it out. This is what the bottle looks like really small oh. these are the clusters it was supposed to be two packages or so i thought i was getting two packages like two of these but i only got one we're gonna make it work for sure i'm gonna have an elf for like two to three wears but after that i'm gonna have to buy another one <laughs> look super duper soft i'm not overthinking or anything i know these are gonna be comfortable i do have this super bonder that i bought years ago so this is what it looks like while i was living in florida when i first started getting into lash clusters um this I bought off of Amazon. Wait, let me see the expiration date. <gasps> oh, this is expired. <laughs> well, it literally expired this year on my cousin's birthday, July 29th. And I definitely used it after the fact. Is Jenny still gonna use it though? Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna use it because I don't have a seal? Um, so yeah. We'll see what happens. If my eyelashes fall off. And foremost before anything i'm going to wash my face make sure my eyelashes are clean from any mascara and my face is just clean in general and then we're gonna do our brows sorry i'm just thinking about this morning y'all i'm gonna put my hair in a bun and we're gonna get started i'm just i'm not i'm not here mentally right now y'all i'm literally just doing this video for y'all i also decided that i'm not gonna do my nails i just don't want to go through the trouble I'm not mentally able to concentrate to do my nails at the moment <sighs> what is my sorry y'all i'm like if you can't tell that i'm going through it i'm going through it let me look for my tweezers first i'll be right back so i originally had two and i couldn't even find that one of them so now i have to use this one that's literally ass well let's just continue with our day like nothing happened We're gonna make this day productive some way somehow even if it's by doing minimalistic things so 
you don't already know this is my go-to face wash the end of 2021 going into 2023 and obviously now this is what i've been using it's a gentle foam cleanser i'm gonna run some cold water for my face so i can wake up for real do like five six pumps good Sorry if you guys are going through it just like me. I feel like this year was definitely a lesson in multiple ways for me. <laughs> this shit just got in my mouth and it tastes disgusting. I'm gonna let my face dry up a little bit. And then to go a little step further, I still use it to remove any mascara residue. We gonna see if anything comes off. I just knew it. Y'all should already know the drill and how to apply. But for today, I'm going to just give y'all a little mini tutorial. If you want an in-depth tutorial, I do have a YouTube short. I probably have two to three YouTube shorts. And I also have an actual YouTube video. How to put this shit on. Go watch it. And strip lashes here. So I have two videos y'all can go watch. Let's do my eyebrows first. This is going to be very fast and easy. But this is just how I do my eyebrows. I brush it up first. Sometimes I fuck this part up because I be trying to get them to be identical and that's damn near impossible for me because they're two different shapes, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> then I um, pluck out the ones underneath. Yo, this isn't even grabbing anything. Oh, nah. Let me try and use my eyelash tweezers. Maybe these work better. I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. This is actually doing something, at least. It's not gonna be the best, but it's it'll do. Glad that these came in clutch for real. Last but not least, I go in with the eyebrow razor and go over the top. Like I don't have a unibrow, but I just be going in the middle between my eyebrows to get whatever is there. Ta-ra! <laughs> it's time to do my lashes. Oh. I'm gonna put this like in here. Perfect. I actually don't know how much. I'm just gonna put a little bit like this. Remember, when doing so, don't put it on your actual... I'm just dropping shit left to right. But don't put it on your actual waterline. And another key thing to remember is to not stack them or put them right next to each other. Leave some space in between because that also causes irritation. Okay, I already have the first two on. As you can see, they're spaced out in between and not on the actual waterline. But I will finish this off camera. I will be back. Okay, so I'm about to... I'm about to get Q-tips to apply the Super Bonder. I will link all this down below if you are interested. Of course, you know, I also have a reference code with Shein. So if you would so kindly please use it and be a good supporter. for this shit to dry up a little bit see you guys in like 30 minutes it is that time to get in the shower so yeah i'll take a shot every time i drop something during this video at least i'll make it fun for you so i'm about to show you guys the products i'm gonna be using my hair i'm gonna be going in with the monday shampoo and conditioner i don't use a body wash i always use soap and the soap i'm currently using right now it's called dial down there though you know to wash the little poofies this is what I use. If you're Dominican or Hispanic, Latino, you already know what this is. Let me show it. Or actually, I think anybody that like from the Caribbean knows what this is. I ran out of it, so I'm not currently using it right now. But when I do have it, I use this first. And what I started using recently is the boric acid wash which i feel like you guys should really get into though it doesn't have the same sensation as this i'm not gonna lie it's very clear cut like foaming cleanser for your face that's kind of like the same feeling that you get out of it after you use this is really like best way that i can describe it is when you eat like mint gum you know that like 
cool air breeze. That's how it feels down here. The best of both worlds right here. Let me get my ass in the shower. My top spot's coming out real strong. That's how you know it's time for me to wash my hair. Good. Have you guys up here. I'm on my tippy toes because if I go down, you can't even see me. Now, this is actually so fun. Like, the fact that I have to be on my tippy toes so y'all can even see most of my head is actually funny. I think y'all get the gist. I'm about to condition my hair, wash my whole entire body, and I'll see when I'm out because I'm not about to be on my tippy toes this whole entire show. I quite literally just realized that I spent the whole day in the bathroom today. I'm gonna get all my hair products and then show you the new products. Already, all the products that you guys already seen before from my hair wash, wash hair care video are these two the strength and restore leave-in conditioner and then the curl enhancing smoothie and this hair oil. What's new are these two products. I wanted to get a mousse for my hair so that like for day two, day three hair, I could just put something in my hair to like lock down my curls, but also just like deal with frizz. You know what I'm saying? So I got this cream of nature, style and shine foaming mousse. So this is what I've been using for like day two, day three hair mixed with this refreshing moisture mist. Sometimes I use one or the other. Sometimes I use both. It really just depends on how I feel. And for my face, y'all know I use the Vino Daily Moisturizing Face Cream. I need to make sure it's like really in my face. I massage this bitch into my face. All crevices onto my neck. <laughs> I'm not gonna use these two products. This I use only on wash day. You know the drill. If I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is really what's holding my hair intact. And a little bit of like the curl enhancing smoothie. Definitely these two products mixed together really keep my hair intact. I'll throw this out because there's really nothing left in here. But last, last but not least, since the beginning of this year really, I've been training my curls. I don't know what this method is called, but just divide my hair and go like this. crunch it and then let it fall. I'm starving. My stomach is starting to hurt. I'm to the other side. All right, so now we just gotta wait for my hair to dry and then I can show you guys the results. But right now I really do need to eat because everything's starting to get blurry so we know what's, what's about to go down if I don't eat ASAP. wasn't in the mood to record an outro but yeah these are the results with my hair semi dry you guys get the gist make sure to like comment and subscribe and had fun watching me go through my midlife crisis but yeah i'll see you guys next week